Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. So in our previous video, we learned how to handle different types of dropdown playwright. And I hope you have completed the assignment as well. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comments. Okay. Now coming back to today's topic, after watching few videos in playwright, you might be wondering like the slopes exactly are very similar to selenium so in the same way we are interacting with the drop downs we are interacting with the inputs so what's the benefit of using playwright and why you or i should learn the playwright right so if you have that queries if you have that question definitely i should answer that playwright is really awesome and i have said this several times in most of my playwright videos so for that like we have a lot of good reasons for that okay so the auto weight capabilities or in TypeScript, I can say a lot of features, especially the VS code extension, which is really handy to find the locators and to do the debugging, the playwright test runner, where you can generate like, um, video screenshot, everything out of the box. We don't have to code. However, in Java also, we can achieve that, but still we have to write huge code. Okay. So coming back to the awesome feature, there are a lot of things which we are going to learn throughout this playlist or this entire course. But to just to give you a glimpse, I'm going to start with very small topics. One is the code gen and another one is the PDF gen. Okay. So code gen in the sense like it's kind of like your codeless automation, we can say, or also I can compare this with your uh, Selenium, Selenium IDE okay but it is really good comparing to the selenium ide but yeah we will see that in actions now so what is the benefit of using code gen in the sense like if you have very simple test and you don't want to write the code and you want to just do the recording like you do some click action that will be converted into code so that is the cool feature of this playwright code gen okay so let's see how to do that and it's going to be very simple so let me begin with one configuration first so if you go to your pom.xml, if you remember in one of our first or second video, I believe, believe first or second video, I believe that uh, when we do the project uh, update Maven project for update, it basically changed the JDK version from 11 to 1.5, right? So that is the default uh, which is set in the Chrome uh, Eclipse but i don't want to do that so what we can do is we can use this maven compiler source and target and here i can give like 11 11 and now whenever we do the force update or refresh the project or build the project it will low it will not change to 1.5 rather it will stay in 11 version okay and then what we are going to do is we are going to make use of the terminal that is present inside the eclipse so if you go to this uh, right click okay right click on your project and go to uh, show in terminal local terminal and you can click the terminal or the git bash if you have installed the git bash probably you can use the git bash or else you can go with the um, local terminal that is your command prompt okay so here um, let me close the others yeah so here we have this code gen uh, basically we are going to use this little snippet over here so i'm just going to copy and paste and then i'm going to modify like here i'm going to give like uh let code dot in okay so we are going to navigate to the let code dot in okay so what here what we have here is very simple so first of all we are using this maven and then we are using like uh, to run the java class we are using like execute java and then followed by we are targeting the main class which is nothing but the com.microsoft.playwright which is my package name and cli is my class name and followed by we are saying like with the arguments code gen code gen in the sense like it's going to generate the code and this is my website so you can instead of let code dot in you can give your application url and that should work fine okay now just give enter this will open two browsers one is the chromium browser and another one is also the chromium browser but that is known as playwright inspector so here you can see this is my 
Chromium guy with the letgo.in website and this is my playwright inspector. So in the inspector you can click like record and you can just do something or by default it will be in the record state only so we can just do some click action that will be captured over here and if you want to like copy this one you can just simply click on copy to copy <laughs> and we have resume and pause which we'll talk about during the debugging class and this is also similar to like step in step over and here we have target like if you want to generate for java library you can use this if you want to generate for node based like node based uh, this library or test runner which is my personal favorite and if you are python or dotnet probably you can go with this okay i will stick to the java library and here we have this dark and light theme uh let's go with the dark okay now what I, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on this login and here i'm going to enter the username and password so let me give some data okay and then i'm going to click on this tab key so it will change my focus to the password and i'm going to enter the password and i'm going to click on this login button so it's going to do the login and here right hand side we can see like a toast message once the toast message is disappeared we are going to click on this sign out and then let's go to the workspace let's go to the drop down and here i'm going to select something like banana and it says like you have selected banana yeah that's it fine okay now this is my code here you can see like we got our actual code i'm just going to click on this copy and i'm going to close and close and once we close the browsers it will just stop okay now what can i do is within the defy package i can create a class let's name it like record script with the main method and i'm going to paste my code by default it will give us the import statement as well as the class class already we created so we'll just remove this and we'll move the import statement to the top and here one extra bracket which we can close of course yeah so that's it here you can see like we got this little script which is going to really help us but i will not recommend you to use the recorder always if the application is static and the locators like you have direct css or ids or good xpath probably you can use it if you have like complex ui i will not recommend you to use it but of course it's good to learn so here you can see like whatever the things we have learned already all are here and here you can see like we have try without catch or finally block yes it works it's a java 1.8 feature try with resource if you do not know it don't worry you can just remove the try block and you can just write as we do in our previous video or else do let me know in the comments i'll probably try to cover this try with resource as well okay now coming back to this so we have done the same thing that is what we have here as well only thing the new is this browser context as i said we'll talk about this in a separate videos in our upcoming videos then we got this new page and from the page we are doing the navigate and here you can see something like get by role which is very new it is introduced in the version of 1.8 so if you go to this release note and not 1.8 1.28 uh, sorry 1.27 and here you can select get by text get by role all these things are there right so yeah this is very new i have covered this in our player typescript playlist in java of course we'll cover it since it's new the playwright team like uh you can go with this or you can go with the locator as well anything is fine but definitely we'll learn this as well okay so very simple thing just is just entering the like here you can see like it has clicked on the something and then it click on the fill it type the data and it remember i have given the tab right so it gives like press tab and the password and it clicked on the login name then sign out i mean this is the login button so here you can see like area role equal to button uh this are by the way like static final variables yeah and then we have this workspace then drop down and we have selected this drop down which is nothing but banana so i can go right click run as java application now 
see the beauty of play right now actually here in this particular login scenario it's going to do the login and it is going to click on the sign out button but if you see here we have a toast message underneath under that we have the sign out button okay but it knows that sign out button is not clickable so it is waiting until that toast is going to disable i mean hidden and then it's trying to click on the sign out button but if you have done the same script in selenium without any weights this is going to end up in an exception called element click intercepted element click interception exception but since playwright has like auto built-in weights it just wait and it done without any exception so that is the beauty of playwright one more is of course the code gen and we have a lot of things right like, like this we'll talk about everything more in detail in our upcoming videos now second thing we are going to learn is how to generate the pdf file which i don't use and i don't know where exactly we might need that but here we have a option so i'll just uh, teach you that okay so it is also very similar to our previous one so if you go here in the right hand side you can see the terminal button you can open it or else again you can go to your package explorer right click on your project so in local terminal and click on terminal you will get a new terminal and paste the code and here it's very simple we just modify a few things so if i want to generate the pdf as let code dot pdf and this is my website url so i can i can give it like this the yeah i can give it like let go dot in some or anything let's go with amazon dot in maybe yeah and here the argument is pdf so previously it was code gen and now it's pdf okay rest of the same things are very same so i'm going to click on this enter this will not open the browser this will just go scrap the ui scrap the elements i mean element handles all the layouts and it will convert the pages into a screenshot only the domain not entire website okay. domain in the sense like this only this page not the next next page okay so that's it it is pretty much done now if i can go to my package explorer again and right click on a project refresh it you will see this guy let go dot in i mean dot pdf so if i go and explore this open in system explorer if i open the file i can say like we are getting this amazon website but in the pdf format okay so that's it really cool uh but yeah to be honest i don't know where we are going to make use of this or i have no idea but yeah if you have do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to know that and yeah that's it for this particular video okay so i'll see you in the next one um very soon and of course we have a lot of things to learn we'll go learn everything in a slow manner okay so um you don't have any assignment today because i think this is really easy maybe you can just give it a try whatever i have done now okay so that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon tada boy take care yeah yeah let's go I ain't the first with the curse with the thirst that I wanna be better not worse man it hurts I'm on the earth with my words and I put them all together in cert cuz I wanna have worth working hella hard till they put me in the dirt gonna go far man listen to my words gonna be a star man life's like a